Hello, it's Jason Pan for Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Today I'm at the beautiful Cibolo Canyons community in the Palacio section, located in the north central part of San Antonio. I absolutely love this community. My clients just closed on this house behind me, and it is built by Imagine Homes and absolutely beautiful. Let's go check it out. This is the Plan 2 uh, plan by Imagine Homes, and this is the, one of their higher end products that they build. And I absolutely love, love, love this community. It's such a centrally location to everything, just off of Evans Road and uh, Cibolo Canyons Parkway. Uh, so you've got access to everything close to uh, 281, Bolverde Road. So if you need to get downtown San Antonio, it's really easy. Uh, if you need to get to the northeast part of San Antonio, it's also easy. But this is a gorgeous home and it's a big one. Let's go in and check it out. I am gonna put the full specs on it, the square footage and stuff in the description box. So, uh, so I give you the right numbers. But I'm super happy for my clients to just closed on this house today. They've been waiting a long time to move into this beautiful home. Let's head on inside. Love these doors. Right when you come in, you can't help but notice the beautiful wood flooring. And check out these lights. My clients really took their time getting this house done. When they got another contract, they were still able to do the build from dirt, whole designs and everything, picked out everything, including these high-end shutters. Check these bad boys out. That's nice. Yeah, those are super nice shutters. But this is going to be their dining room, the formal dining room. Lots of space. And I also want to point out the super tall ceiling throughout this house. We also got a neat little butler area. Lots of place to put your wine. And of course, you got to have a little wet bar with a fridge. Let's see if this thing lights up as I get close to it. It did not do it. Maybe I have to turn something on. Oh, well, moving on. Let me go ahead and show you these secondary bedrooms. Oops, did not get the lights turned on for this one. I know for my client, she's planning on using this as her office. And man, this is a pretty cool office. Got those beautiful shutters, your own private bath. Beautifully done tile. And a really nice little closet. And of course having that extra light coming in from the window is pretty nice too. But these ceilings are tall throughout, so of course you're gonna have eight foot doors. We have another a secondary bedroom. Now these two rooms will share that bath, and I'll show you the bath in just a second. But I gotta, I gotta show off the closets. They're kind of average closet, but nicely done. All right, here's that bathroom. It's gonna be shared by uh, these two bedrooms and if you're using this room, you can use that bathroom too. Check this out, the movie room. They have, uh, they got dimmable sconces on the side. They have it all pre-wired for speakers. You got the floor speakers, your center, center hookup for your uh, receiver, speaker setup for Adobe Atmos. I mean, they, they've done this up nicely and even some rear speakers set up there. I'm super excited to see how this is gonna sound. Um, I talked to my clients about, hey, you can use a Wilson Art designer white matte finish and uh, laminate and build your own screen. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna turn out. I've got a projector in my house, so it's kind of a passion of mine. 
But then you got this room. This is kind of your secondary master. This is actually the master bedroom, but it's bigger than most of the master bedrooms that I see. And the reason I say this is a secondary master is check out this closet space. I mean, this is, if you're looking for a lower end home, uh, this is definitely a higher end home. But if you're looking for lower end, that's about the size of a regular master. And it's got its own full bath. The shower, beautifully done tile work with a steep. But man, this, this is a big room. Love the modern looking three blade fans too. We tested them out, they work pretty good. All right, on to the main living space. Check this out. I got the wood beams, the beautiful fan. This house is made for entertaining. Lots of space here. A nice fireplace. A little space up there to put the TV. Anything you want to do, you can do. They also went for the upgraded sliding wall. So you can open this all the way up and have access to this really large patio. I know my clients, they had the option because they built from dirt to push everything out a couple of feet, making this even bigger. But man, this is big. I said, love the wood ceiling up there. Of course, they did get it pre-pumped for uh, cooktop over there. Another fireplace here that burns natural wood with a little gas igniter. And check out this yard. This yard is actually just screaming to have a swimming pool put in it. But we are at May 14th, 2022. So uh, the grass just got put in. They put zoysia in. I'm a big fan of zoysia, especially for helping keeping the weeds down. But man, they did a really nice job landscaping this house. Love it. Lots of space out here for, uh, if it's uh, during the springtime, it's hard to consider this springtime now. We're kind of in the summer. If we're hitting mid nineties in Texas, it's summertime because that's what we're supposed to hit today. All right, before we hit the master bedroom, oh, I haven't hit this kitchen yet. Now, this might be screaming out at you. It's like, what is that? Um, unfortunately, there are some not so good people in the world. And while this house was open during the construction process, somebody did, of course, decide they wanted to steal the gorgeous KitchenAid oven that was there. <laughs> and the Imagine Homes people are in a rush trying to get a replacement put in. So unfortunately that does happen sometimes during the build process. That's why builders typically put the appliances in at the last possible minute because they knew the house isn't secure. There's people in and out all the time, the trades are. And sometimes the trades tell people, hey, gotta check out this appliance at this house and it's open, let's grab it. So they did. That's a sad fact, but it does happen. Oh, let me check out this sink. They did get a beautiful single basin sink. Gray uh, seal. The uh, refrigerator still on the way. It's coming. Oh, where is the pantry? The pantry is right over here. But before we get to the pantry, they have another full-size breakfast nook where you can really fill this up with whatever size table you want. Giant pantry. All right, let's check out. Oh, no, I want to check out the office first. And this granite. Ah, uh, they did it just like, oh, I believe this is kind of a quartz. But uh, carried it up on the backsplash. It just looks phenomenal. And they did the waterfall um, island coming off. I mean by waterfall is it kind of just drops off and carries on. We haven't been down this wing yet. There's the dining room. 
This is the mud room coming in from the big, beautiful three car garage. So one of the things I do like about Imagine Homes is they also finish out the garage with the same quality as they have on the inside with the big uh, baseboards. But it's a big giant three car garage, almost three and a half car garage. Imagine Homes does put in tankless water heater and uh, plumb for water softener. Perfect place to put your excess shoes, hang your backpacks, and anything else you need. We have a beautifully done laundry room. They did ask to get it both wired for gas and electric, just in case they decide to have a gas dryer. This is gonna be your public powder room for your guest. And here is the off the main office. Because this room is designed to be an office. Look at those beams. Carrying the wood throughout. You can be sitting here at the desk, being able to see anybody coming in and out of the garage. This is a nice view from behind the desk. And just an average closet. Nothing special, but hey, it's an office. All right, now we're gonna finally, finally get to the master bedroom. And wait till you see this bathroom. It is awesome. Ooh, wanna point out another feature here in the kitchen that Imagine Homes has. Love being able to pull that out and have a little spice rack in there. And it's on the other side as well. All right, finally to the master bedroom. It's about the same size as that other one we were just in, where I consider like the secondary master, but beautiful use of space. And here they've got the wood floor. But check out this bathroom. Going through the French doors. You do have a little spot for uh, your morning coffee pot set up right there. Some nice little shelves, linen closets. We do have a his and her vanity with a little makeup section. Very modern lights. And check out this beautifully done soaking tub. That's a deep, deep tub. The other vanity. Check out the car set up. We have two heads there and the rain shower. All mud inset, absolutely beautiful. All right, coming in, we do have a his and her closet. This is the big closet. So obviously this is a her closet with the check yourself before you go out mirror. Lots of hanging spaces. And this is the other closet. Still a really big closet. So this house, as you can tell, has plenty, plenty of closet space. And that sneaky need that some people love, some people aren't a big fan of, having access to your laundry room right from your master bedroom. I personally love to be able to do that, but I double check when we're doing a walkthrough, they do have a lock on it. So you wanna be able to always lock access to your master bedroom because there's a surprise you don't want to have if you're enjoying a nice glass of wine and a bubble bath, or in my case, scotch. Yes, I do do bubble baths with scotch sometimes. Don't judge me. I really, really like this home. And these guys got this house under contract for a wonderful price. I'm not gonna disclose what it was because it's not y'all's business. But they got a great bargain on it, especially with home prices going up so much that they have in Texas over the last two years. 
finally we can wrap a tour of this beautiful home built by Imagine Homes in the Palacio section of Cibolo Canyons. And I so want to say thank you to my clients that did reach out to me after watching those several of my videos. I'm so glad everything worked out for them. And I know they are super excited to move into this gorgeous home. And if you like these videos, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to reach out to me, the best way to do that is to click the link to my Zoom calendar, which I'm going to leave in the description box. All right, as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now.